UK-based company Malloy Aeronautics has developed a new type of helicopter, which they call a quadcopter. This model is one-third the size of a real one and is already popular with drone enthusiasts. But the team behind it say that this is only the beginning. They're confident that soon they'll be able to test a real full-sized one controlled by a human rider. The reason we moved on from the bicopter design to the quadcopter design was that the technology has now moved to such a point that uh, controlling a vehicle uh, using independent uh, thrust through the four motors of a quadcopter is uh, much more uh, efficient and cheaper now than it was when I first started this bicopter design. The small-scale drone model has been marketed commercially as a way of raising funds to develop a larger version. Here, Chris Malloy is testing a tethered prototype. The advantages the hoverbike has over a helicopter is that it can fly amongst trees safely. Uh, rotor strike is a major issue in helicopters. Uh, this here eliminates rotor strike by protecting the um, propeller blades from the ground and other airborne obstacles. Uh, the uh, helicopter is, uh, is inherently complex. The hoverbike is very simple, so uh, from a complexity issue the hoverbike is safer. Uh, and it's uh, built to be robust and flown in environments that, are, um, that a typical helicopter would uh, have trouble with. The developers say that the hoverbike will be low cost and that its size will make it a practical option for farmers, search and rescue teams and emergency services like ambulances.